Hi guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. Um, before we start, I just want to say thank you very much for your love on my content recently. Um, I haven't posted as much, um, I don't really know why, but I'm going to try and bring it back. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching, thank you for subscribing and being here. Um, today, or oh, this video is, I've decided I'm focusing this video on wholesale because I have been trying to um I've been trying to upload my things to fair the wholesale website I've been trying to move into wholesale for months and months and months um the process has taken ages because I keep procrastinating I keep putting it off um I see so many people doing so well on Instagram on fair and I think it could be really brilliant <laughs> But I'm scared to do it because it's so. It's, I'm, I'm uncertain if I'm doing it right. I don't know if I'm if it's going to work out or I keep putting it off. But I thought if I dedicate a whole studio vlog to it, then I'm going to do it, <laughs> and then hopefully it motivates you if you've been wanting to go into wholesale. So um, yeah, I have just arrived and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So <laughs> this morning hasn't gone to plan. I've been changing my work situation um, I've had to make some changes to when I can work um, based on my partner's new job and it's meant this week I haven't got much done uh, there's been a massive heat wave in the country as well so I was here at the start of the week but I really struggled to get work done um, so that's what I've been dealing with and then on top of that <laughs> I don't want this to be like a morning vlog because it's not I'm in a very good place um, I've really 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 hurt my back so I want to apologize because sitting down for long periods of time is not possible I have really really struggled and this is a sh kind of a reminder to all of you that sit at desks like I'm doing right now you have to stretch you have to stretch you have to move your body you can't sit at a desk for long periods of time because it will really 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 affect you um, I've always had a problem with my back I've always you know got a sore back and aches and pains and I'd say over the past month maybe since Florida I've had this niggling feeling in the bottom of my back and it's just got worse and worse and worse and to the point where last week I was just so fed up I can't, I, I mean, I used to work out quite a lot. I used to deadlift, I used to lift weights and I couldn't even pick Luca up. Um, so I messaged my sister-in-law who is amazing and she um, does sports massages and things like that. And I just said to her, look, my back's killing me. Please, can you have a look at it? And she came round um, on Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I can't remember. Um, and as soon as she touched my lower back, I winced. I was like, ow, oh, that really hurts. <laughs> um, and I think it's a combination of a lot of things, but I think sitting at a desk with really bad posture for a long time has brought my back down. It's really bad. So she spent a lot of time just in the lower back, getting out some of the knots, and it was really painful. And I feel like I've been beaten up. I, I messaged her and said, I feel like you have beaten me up. Um, so I know it is really bad because of what she did. And what she did is good. Like, it, it needs to get worse to get better. And I'm going to see her often to just keep on top of my back. Because this pain I'm feeling right now is horrible. In my lower back, it's just a constant. It's not like sharp pains. It's just a constant dull ache. And it really hurts so I have to keep moving I have to keep stretching which I'm gonna do my stretches while I'm here um, I've got pain relief which I need to take more of and I'm gonna heat it at home put some heat on it so yeah just a reminder if you've got any niggling pains and things get them looked at I'm so glad I got them looked at and I'm very fortunate that she didn't charge me for a time I feel really bad and I've told her I will pay her for a time um, but if you can get it professionally looked at and really like put it into your routine of like having massages or you know doing things like that and even just doing stretches if you don't do stretches just do them oh, it can just help massively 
so I'm walking around like an old woman you'll see in a bit when I try and get up off this chair it will take a little bit of time to get up <laughs> once I'm up I'm all right I can move but it's a pain anyway before I do my to-do list for the day I have had a delivery and I don't know what it is um so I thought we would have a look together Emily, I've been a subscriber of yours for a while. I've just launched a new product and thought I would send you one. I wrapped it during the heat wave, so I apologise if it's melted. If not, sure, Luca and Matt would love it too. This is from Paul. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the colouring is perfect. It says Emily's Survival Kit. I don't even know the name of the company, so hopefully we can figure this out inside let's have a look let me take a picture of it while it's like this because i've got a feeling it won't stay like this if i open it <laughs> let's get a picture okay right so okay sorry about that it's actually about an hour or so later because my battery died i didn't charge my battery overnight so anyway where were we i was opening this parcel so here we go, it's Mr. M's Insta stuff, and when you open it, oh my days, look at that chocolate. Thank you so, so much to Paul. I am so grateful <laughs> for all of this chocolate. This is Matt's favorite, these are Luca's favorite, and I just love all of it. So thank you so much. This will be really well received later. Um, so I will leave Paul's details below. Um, and where you can go and check out Mr M's Insta stuff. Um, I'll need to go and have a check to see like what other things he has. But yeah, how lovely is that? A lovely, lovely treat. And that is really nice. So I'm assuming it's like little gifts and things that you can send to people. Um, which is such a lovely surprise. So yes, I will be taking that home. So it actually worked out really well because in the hour that you were on charge, I have worked through my wholesale and I am pretty much ready to go. Like, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. So I am going with fair. Um, it seems to be the way that everybody's going. I was invited onto fair, like fair got in touch with me about six months ago and said, we want to have you on there. Um, we will upload your products and I had the discussion with them I had the talks and they were really keen for me to get on there and I just never got around to it I wanted to upload the things myself and I put it off anyway I've done it now so I mean I have like over a hundred products in my shop right now and I've uploaded 22 of them to fair um Oh, I've just had an order. Thank you so much to Emma Kerr, if you watch these. You've just placed an order in my shop. Thank you so much. Um, so my dilemma at the minute is um, I have some products that I don't have much stock left. So I have five enamel pins that I have less than 20 pins left of. So I need to order more. So I am in the process of restocking those. They'll take a month to arrive. Um, when I place the order so what do I do about that because I'd like to put them in my fair shop do I just wait until they arrive and then put them on there when I have actual stock of them um that's my first question for anybody that if you know if you're doing wholesale the second thing is stickers I haven't put stickers on my wholesale shop um because I don't know how to package them. Like I send them in my shop without any packaging because I think it's a bit of a waste of packaging. But when I do craft fairs, I have them on a display like with a backing card and in cello. So do I upload them to fair and sort of give them the option? I know I chatted to Claire from OK Doodle and that's what she does. Um, let me know what you do when it comes to doing stickers. Um, I, think, I think what I'm gonna do instead of putting everything in my shop unfair i'm gonna upload these 20 items and kind of see how it goes see if i get any orders and then i can like gradually add more things as i start to like find my feet with it um i don't think it'll be a bad thing if i don't have everything on there um it might be nice to have these like you know like do this and then maybe in a couple of weeks add my stickers um and just maybe add prints and bookmarks but I'm all I've added is my new fairy tale collection notepads um washi tapes things like that so yeah 
It's a tough one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. And like, I have four enamel pins here and the photographs are old. Like, they're not on those backing cards. So I've just realised I can't upload that because they won't match what they'll get. So I need to take some product pictures now of four pins. Um, and then I'm going to launch the page. So I think let's do that because I'd really like to launch the page and just say that it's done. <laughs> um... And then if I get any orders, then I'll, that's when panic mode will set in because I don't know what I'm doing. Because, <laughs> like, I've put things on there that I don't actually have in stock. A lot of my things are made in the UK and, like, my notepads. If I ordered my notepads today, they would arrive. So it's Thursday today. They would probably arrive Monday, maybe Tuesday. So it's fast turnaround. So... I reflected that on the fair shop to say like that's how long things will take because I'll get an order, I'll order the stock and then they'll go out. Yeah, it's just a difficult one. <laughs> Something I've never done before. But I've, re I, I've, I've come to accept that I won't get it right, I will make mistakes, but I will learn from them. Um, so don't be scared to try things in fear of getting it wrong. Go for it, get it wrong and figure it out and that's what I'm going to do with wholesale. So. Um, yeah, if you've got any wholesale tips for me, I would love to hear them. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to take some photographs of the four pins, upload that. I also have a couple of orders, one, two, three, four, five, six orders that I need to do. I also need to stretch my back because it's starting to really hurt. So, I think let's do all that, do all that stuff and then I will come back here with hopefully a fair shop that is live. Orders done and we can come up with something else to do. <laughs> Brand new street and brand new me Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know, couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the sound was so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish everything to fair hang on let me just sort my hair out over it on my face so i've got 25 items on fair and i've gone to activate the shop and it's basically said are you sure like 
have you uploaded everything you've got a better chance of success if you upload everything and i'm like no i haven't uploaded everything does all that do that'll do um i'm really nervous about wholesale i don't fully get it and i'm i think i'm just gonna launch it with 25 things make a note when i share it that if anybody has seen anything on my website and it's not on the wholesale but they want it to let me know and then i could like add it but like i want to do stickers but i think i'm just gonna see how we go so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna activate it let's do it now yes activate my shop your shop is live okay <laughs> right what i'm gonna do <laughs> it says here that i have a welcome offer that i can give people i'm gonna just go away and read it share to instagram that i've gone live on fair and i'll be back with you because i want to do some drawing it's now 4 20 and i want to do some drawing so let me go and do that i will come back and let you know how things are going um and then we'll do some drawing so i've done it my shop is wholesaling it's out there it's on fair i have just shared a post uh and a story i've made a highlight i've added it to my shop uh, my website um i think i've done it right that do you know what the thing that's worrying me is is it worth it <laughs> can someone just make me feel better like i understand that it was great if people buy in bulk It's just scary to sell things for a lot, for like a lot less profit. Can some people tell me like the, some great stories, like some positive wholesaling stories, please. Um, I understand that my profit margin will be much smaller, but hopefully I can buy, sell more. So I understand, I understand, but right now it's quite scary. Um, so let's just see how it goes. I'll keep you updated if i get any orders um yeah <laughs> so i'll leave a link for it below basically um you know if you have a shop if you stock a shop if you um anything like that using my direct link um you can get some great offers um and if you have any wholesale questions please ask i can maybe do a video when i've got my head around it and maybe orders come in and i understand how it works i can maybe do a tips video um, like I say, it took me six months to build this this page, so um, I've definitely procrastinated over it. I know some of you will procrastinate as well because it's scary and we don't know what we're doing. So hopefully I can kind of show you that it's all right to do. Um, anyway, let me just go to my to-do list for the day and see what I've actually got done. So I did that, got my orders done. Um, and done wholesale, which is exciting. Let's tick that off. Um, so the final thing is I want to do some drawing. So I have a goodie box going out this month and I really want to do it giraffe themed. I want to come up with a giraffe character, a really cute giraffe character, kind of along the same vibe as my tiger and my seal and the hedgehog. I want to do a giraffe and then I want to make a giraffe themed box. So I think I just want to sit and sketch. Um, I might go live on YouTube while I'm sketching because I haven't done that in ages. People haven't seen me draw in ages. So I'll probably set the camera up so you can see and then I will go live on YouTube as well so people can watch. But I do need to stretch because my back is killing me. Let me show you the process of getting up. Bear in mind I've been sat down for like over an hour now. Basically, my posture is really bad and my lower back sorry to show my bum <laughs> but it's my lower back is just it's not in a good place so I'm gonna do a bit of stretching and then I'm going to draw some giraffes um,
So, what are we thinking? Do we think she looks cute? Are we... Is this what I'm sticking with? I'm glad I did it sat down with the weird legs. I know it was weird while I was doing it, but now that it's done, I think it, it, it looks cute. It looks like a, a younger giraffe now. I think that's, I think it'll be cute. Oh, Sandra, thanks for coming on. Can I ask what program you're using to stream? Yes, so I use OBX to stream. It's really easy to set up. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi. Let's see, I'll wait for you to put some comments and show what we've worked on together. I'm actually really proud of that little giraffe. To say I've never drawn a giraffe before. Or maybe I have. I don't know if I have drawn a giraffe. Definitely not one like this. Oh, there we go. People are saying hi. Cyberchick says hi. Twofold says hi. Funky Kid says hi. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. Happy Friday. It's the end of the week. Oh, my back is still not great, but I've just done my stretches. I've took my painkillers. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm feeling okay. Wholesaling is still going. <laughs> um, 10 people have looked at my shop, it says. 10 unique visits. Uh, no activity yet. So I will just keep you updated next week um, with you know how it goes i was thinking do i print off a sales tracker for wholesale but i feel like let's just see how it goes first it might be that nothing happens i don't want to like jinx it or anything so if i get an order then i'll be like right let's put a tracker up and track it it's now friday and as you saw i went on my live stream last night and drew my giraffe which i'm really happy about it's really cute so i was gonna work on that a bit more today but i've got a few other jobs that i want to do before the weekend and then I'll work on the draft next week. Um, so I'll maybe film that next week, the finishing of that and putting together the box and designing it and everything. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here um, because it's it's probably a nice little length. Um, my job today is to tidy up. You'll have seen the studio is a bit of a mess and the problem is I've got loads of things on the floor. It's just hard for me to bend down to pick things up. So <laughs> I'm gonna tidy what I can. Um, and then next week, hopefully, I feel a lot better and I can actually tidy properly and not and not be so, so messy everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you are a maker, a seller like me, and you want to go into whole, wholesale, I have a link for you, um, like a referral link. Uh, if you sign up using my link, it helps me massively because fair reward me. Um, so they'll send me some money which would be lovely and then when you join you share your link with your friends and you make some money as well like we've all got to help each other out so um i'll leave that link below so i'll leave a link below to my actual fair shop and i will leave a link below for my referral let me know if you use it um so i can say a big thank you to you um and yeah i'll see you next week bye guys